A single reservoir supplies the petrol to the whole city, while the reservoir is fed by a single pipeline filling the reservoir with the stream of uniform volume. When the reservoir is full and if 40,000 liters of petrol is used daily, the supply fails in 90 days. If 32,000 liters of petrol is used daily, it fails in 60 days. How much petrol can be used daily without the supply ever failing? How much petrol can be used daily without the supply ever failing? Let's do a second reading to understand this in detail, right? I hope uh, most of you have understood the question. There will be some confusions, right? Some questions like, you know, when it is 40,000 liters per day, it is lasting for 90 days. When it is 32,000 liters per day, how is it lasting only for 60 days? Because as the consumption has come down, the number of days should increase. But here if you see, the number of days are decreasing. So such questions may arise. Let me explain that uh, again in detail. So see what it says. There is a reservoir which supplies the petrol to the whole city. And this reservoir is being fed by a single pipeline which fills it at a stream of uniform volume. Right? It fills it at a uniform speed. Now, when the reservoir is full, when it is initially full, and 40,000 liters of petrol is used daily, the supply fails in 90 days. The supply fails in 90 days. You agree? The supply fails in 90 days. If 32,000 liters of petrol is used daily, right, daily, this supply fails in 60 days. So how much petrol can be used daily without the supply ever failing? How much supply can be, you know, sorry, how much petrol can be used daily without the supply ever failing? So, so let's see how do we solve it. Let us assume that the total volume of reservoir, total volume of reservoir is equal to V, right? Or let's say total is T, total volume of reservoir is T. Uh, the sub, uh, I mean supply by the pipeline, daily supply by the pipeline. Let's assume the daily supply by this pipeline is what what variable shall we take s let's say the daily supply is s all right the total volume is t and the daily supply is s now try and understand what happens in the first case he says when the reservoir is full and if 40000 liters of petrol is used daily the supply fails in 90 days so basically we are talking about 90 days here in case one right so what happens what is the total volume that we have? The total volume that we have is the volume of the reservoir plus each of these 90 days, this uh, you know pipeline will supply S liters. So what is the total supply? 90 into S. Are you able to follow? Let me just repeat this. The total volume of the reservoir is T plus every day for 90 days, the pipeline supply is S liters. So this is the total intake that we will have, right? This is the total intake. Are you able to follow? T plus 90 S is the total intake. Initially, we had T liters, then every day we got 90 into S. I mean, every day we got uh, S for 90 days. So, 90 S. This should be equal to what it says the supply fails in 90 days and the consumption per day was 40,000. That means every day if you take out 40,000 from this, in 90 days it will get, become zero. So, can you say this total is equal to 40,000 into 90? 40,000 liters into 90? Yes or no? 40,000 into 90. That's the first part. Similarly, if 32,000 liters of petrol is used daily, it fails in 60 days. Now, even if 32,000 liters is used daily, what's the total uh, in, intake that we have? Initially, we have T liters plus for 60 days, right? For 60 days, each of these 60 days, we'll get S liters. This should be equal to the daily consumption is 32,000 for how many days? For 60 days. All right. 30, so basically, the point that you need to understand is, you know, just don't compare 40,000 lasting 90 days and when there is lesser requirement 32,000 why is it lasting only 60 days because it is a function of two things here one is the initial volume and also the supply see when the when the supply is lasting 90 days see if it is only 60 days the total amount that we get from the pipeline is also reducing right and then we also have this initial volume with us the base with us so these two you know these two the function of these two together is making this happen so I think these are the two equations that you need to solve, right? T plus 90S, total volume of the reservoir that we initially had, plus every day this reservoir got, nine, uh, you know, S liters for 90 days. Whatever we got here, total was enough for 90 days at 40,000 liters output per day. Similarly, 
uh, when we take 32,000 liters out every day for 60 days, it becomes zero. So we can say 32,000 into 60 is equal to T plus 60 S. Now solve it. Now solve solve these two equations. Solve for S basically. So what happens? T and T and E we get cancelled, right? We'll have 90 S minus 60 S. 30 S is equal to 40 K into 90 minus 32 K into 60. You're getting it? 30 S equals to 40 K into 90 minus 32 K into 60. So what happens? 30 goes three times and here it goes two times. So basically the daily supply S is equal to 40 K into 3, 120 K minus 32 K into 2, 64 K, which is equal to 56 K, 56,000. So daily supply that we get through this pipeline, single pipeline, daily supply through the single pipeline, which, you know, fills the reservoir at a uniform uh, stream of volume is 56,000. And that becomes our answer here. I'll, I'll, I'll explain you why. See now, what is the actual question? The actual question says how much petrol can be used daily without the supply ever failing? How much petrol can be used daily without the supply ever failing? So basically, again, I mean, I know it's little difficult to understand uh, at, at this point here. But the idea is that, uh, you know, if you just depend on the supply, so how much petrol can be used every day without the supply ever failing? So every day I can use 56,000 liters because the pipeline can supply me 56,000 liters. Whether the reservoir is there or not, whether the reservoir is there or not, the single pipeline that we have, it can supply me 56,000 liters. So it will never fail because every day it is going to give me 56,000, right? Every day, this daily supply of pipeline is how much? S, which is equal to 56,000. So I can say, if my daily consumption is 56,000, it will never fail, right? It will never fail. So option two should be taken as the answer. Again, here it is an assumption that there is no initial supply. Basically, like in these two cases, we have considered that initially the reservoir is full. Here the reservoir is not full. We are just, or even if you assume reservoir is a full, 56,000 liters is what we can always consume because we have that capacity, right? The pipe can supply is 56,000. Fine. So option two, 56,000 liters would be the answer.